Hello there folks and welcome back to the 3D printer vlog. This is your host Michael and today we are going to be working on the firmware. First things first, I have to get the LCD panel working. Uh, the other thing is I have to get the X and Y axis going properly here as well as calibrate them. Now I'm just going to adjust the uh, firmware here. I would do this in like a capture software which would make a lot of sense and be visually pleasing. Well, essentially, the reason I'm not using my capture setup is because right now it's not properly set up. There's a lot of software issues, and I've been screwing around with too many things tonight. My phone took a crap, power button went out, never buying an LG phone again. I'm just not really up to screwing around with the capture and getting it working. There's yeah, The software just needs to be updated, and it's a real pain to update it on my computer because there's some weird MSI. You know, Another thing, <laughs> but yeah, essentially I'm just going to show you guys some screenshots here as I'm working. Okay, so looks like this is uh, the one here, Red Brown Discount Smart Controller. It is the one I have. So yeah, it's this one here. Uh, I can't really see under it, but this has a red PCB. It says white PCB. Don't really know if that uh, makes a difference here, but since I have an SD card reader, there is a line. I need to uncheck uh, SD, I need to uncommon SD support. Okay, so I went ahead and figured it out here. Apparently, when you're compiling Marlin firmware, you want to use an older version of Arduino, the IDE, the software you use to compile and upload and change the firmware. I'm using version 1.6, and that right there has actually enabled me to actually, or, or in 1.6, rather than the newest version, which I think is 1.6.10, at least at the time of this video, it, uh, yeah, there's, it has definitely worked. Don't know why everything is like, that. ooh, yeah, there we go, okay, okay. There you go, neat. All right, I gotta test this SD card out. Let's see here. Yep, here's the board to my dead ass phone. And here is the SD card. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see which way. I think it's this way. Okay, here we go. Got everything taken care of. What I had to do is I had to remove this button. I had some washers pushing this board uh, back so the uh, reset button wouldn't be clicked on. But I just went ahead and took the button out. I'll just stick like a screwdriver in there or something up. I need to press it. I think it's just like a kill switch. So that kind of makes sense. And the SD card, it probably works. Let's see, what do we got? Card inserted. Nice. Ooh, yeah. I, I like. Look at that. Ooh. It's actually really similar to the uh, FlashForge. Yeah, there's the G codes. Okay. It just, of course, there's no back button, which I'll have to get used to. It's just a little different motion control okay but yeah it looks like the card works properly and I even uh, etch this little thing basically I used a scribe to uh, engrave and then what I did was I got a silver sharpie yeah you just sharpie it as soon as it's fresh wipe it off with like a shop towel or some sort of towel and then just keep doing it until you get a good layer just keep wiping it off so you get the surface layer off around it so you get this nice little indentation. It's a crappy little drawing of SD card, but it shows me the proper orientation as well as showing the contact strip. So I'll be able to look at that and say, hey, that's how you put the SD card in without having to do this uh, mess here. It's like, oh, no. Of course, I'll flip around uh, three times, four times, charm. So every time, get it right. I'm going to go ahead and get the axes checked make sure they're right. Now I don't have to use the controller software to test all the axes and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna have to, of course, flip the printer on so I can test it all properly. All right, folks, so the printer is powered up. I am currently testing the, um, the axes here. So yeah. So far, it seems to be in good working order here, at least. So, so far, so good. The axes, is, the axes seem to be operating the way they should. But I just need to make sure that they're actually reporting properly and 
the end stops and everything are properly calibrated but and of course to make sure that it's actually moving like 10 millimeters instead of just moving like a ridiculous amount which I think it might be doing I'm not sure I'm gonna go ahead and try to sort these axes out here see if I can't get that done tonight all right folks we're back this is day well technically this is day three of the 3d printer blog however it's gonna be on a bit of a hiatus here I didn't film a bunch of stuff last night unfortunately I deleted that I don't know some I didn't I guess the footage didn't make it off the SD card before I deleted it, which sucks, but essentially I'm gonna go over it real quick here. Made some big improvements here to the actual printer. I went ahead and as you can see, I wired up the LED lights. I It's a temporary wire job now. I just got like little small strands in the screw terminals. The bed heater ran into some issues with the crappy Chinese relay I got here. Unfortunately, for some weird reason, um, it's either always on or always off, so the bed was just heating up randomly. I don't even know what happened or why because the relay wasn't even on. I think it's what I've been reading online. This is the wrong type of relay. Um, I'll post the name in the top of what it's supposed to be, or what it is, and I'll uh, put a link in the description of a proper relay for everyone to use here. Found it on Reddit as well as uh, got some good reviews on Amazon from plenty of people using it as a 3D printer relay. And yeah, that's pretty much the main issue I'm running into right now. I did figure out the steps per millimeter. Um, a lot of people online have been saying that you need to double the steps per millimeter with the core XY. Essentially, that's how much times the stepper motor like moves. It's like a uh, stepper motor is of course it's steps, like just little gears. I'll show a little diagram up here where you can just look at stepper motors up on Wikipedia to get a general idea as well. But essentially, it's just how many steps it takes for the motor to go through for it to reach a millimeter and it was about a hundred i set it back to 50 got it pretty close in the ballpark the x-axis is pretty on point the y-axis is off by a little bit it'll require some fine tuning haven't got around to doing the bed just yet um gonna wait a little bit for that just uh, when i get the relay and everything else sorted out here oh also one more thing before we end off here i had to replace one of the stepper motor drivers because i cooked it I think I, I was setting uh, the micro stepping settings. I'll post a picture up here. It's basically a set of jumpers. It's beneath these little daughter boards. There's about six of them in the actual electronics board, the ramp board, as they call them. Of course, there's other boards as well you can use, but that's the one I'm using on my board at this current time. But you have essentially that. Uh, the one of those little boards went out because I tried to set too high of a micro stepping, and I was uh, unsuccessful in trying to figure out the correct setting for it to go through. So. Fortunately, I cooked one of those. Uh, good news is that I have like six pairs of them, so I just popped in another one. That's pretty much gonna be about it for today's vlog here. Just wanna thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button, consider subscribing, and check out some of these other videos here that we have as well.